Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Walking Dead. It feels like it's been forever since I played this. It hasn't. It's only been a few days. It feels like more than a few weeks. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right. Keep me posted. Posted like the fence. What's this? Oh, it's a swing. Interesting. Why does it give me the option to go look at the swing and investigate? Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Hmm. Alright, so I guess we have to find the stuff to fix that. I wish you could rotate the camera. Maybe you can, and I just don't know how. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after damn. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Hmm. 1993, damn. Shoe bucket. Rope! This rope is perfect for the swing. I know, I just gotta find a piece of wood. Sweet. Alright, making progress. Anything? Oh, shit. I'm just gonna go all the way back down, too. Alright, well, let's check around here. What is this? Hmm. Wait. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> Saw. Could be useful if I can find some boards to cut. <laughs> the ones right there? Jesus. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> Shoved it in his back pocket. Interesting. Alright, so now we go repair the swing. I'm assuming. A big ass board to be carrying around in your back pocket, man. All right, this shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully, our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh, my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Annie and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Hmm. This? I can just look at it. It's too, it's too small for a big old dude like me, I guess. <clears throat> All right, let's see what happens when I go inside if I can. <laughs> All, right. All right. I was gonna say, knock on the door, man. Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. 
He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our mm. old routines to help remind us of better times. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here. Just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was a tough night. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. When will dinner be ready? It'll be a while still, but it'd be worth it. Trust me. How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys mm. have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy. But mm. don't tell him I said that. <laughs> well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Hmm. All right. I still don't trust these people. I don't know. Something about the the one brother that went inside. Wonder how much food they've got in there. Hopefully we'll find out. That sounded sinister. Alright, let's talk to this guy first. Mark. Hey, I'll keep looking around. Alright, keep me posted. Okay then. That did nothing for me. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, we'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds good. What's that? Generator. <laughs> you guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Hmm. Hi. Hi. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? <laughs> yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy. You can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest hmm. thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Uh, like us. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with hmm. the perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. <laughs> well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Hmm, stay attentive. Yeah, that's what you worries know. me.
how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> we'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. Oh, shit. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come so on, are the ones that on. move around, man. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Let's hope so. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Anything else? Who do you think he was? Maybe a farmhand. I don't know. I hope he wasn't like this long before the fence finished him off. Yeah. I can, in fact, take the arrow. Disgusting. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this hmm. place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. Hmm. There's another one. Oh, damn. I see Vince it. is actually knocked over here. Nothing else to look at? Hmm. I'm waiting for one of these things to come to life. Oh, shit. That's weird. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. Man, the fence That's burned right thing. into its hands. I think uh, they fused together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Oh, wow. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. That was the first time in all the things I've seen on The Walking Dead. Christ. The comics, the show. Can't stop thinking about dinner. This was the first time the anyone... Did. Earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. That's the first time anyone has ever mentioned the spell. The smell. Just try to focus on the task. They knew what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. <laughs> uh, having a good meal will be worth it. Ah, shit. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Ah, Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Come on. Calm your tits, Little help man. Here, Lee. Q. All right, Holy now fuck. something. What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah! Ah! What the? Get to the gate! Get down! You assholes! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out! You didn't deliver good! 
Now we're gonna take what's old. Give us the food. Get closer. It ain't right. We I had a deal. deal. What about our arrangement? Holy shit. We don't know you. Did you really think you you're fucking us? You deserve to die. What do I do? Damn you assholes! Gotta lure me to the open. Jesus. Now there y'all, boy! Still not moving. I already got one of you! We had an agreement! No fuel. Now you're fuckers! Okay. <clears throat> Come on. We can reach the gate. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah, oh, shit. Over there! I already got one of you. Lucky just, that time. just let the tractor roll on its own. Who is that? Is that the same guy? That's a different guy. What happened? It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. It is not one of the same ones. Don't think I can't see ya! Where do you think you're going? Did you really think you could fuck with us? Another one? Really? Another one? How many of those things did we push down? You fucked with that us! That one is in fact one of them. Oh, he's oh, he's judging by today's. That other one was not. I already got one of you! Ah, shit. Ah, fuck you, son! You asshole! Fucking die. I can do this all day! Okay! <laughs> I see him! You okay? Yeah. Uh, barely. Come on. The gate's oh, right there. shit. Really? Over there. Did you really think you'd fuck with us? They're getting away. Let's get out of here. You lucky sons of bitches. Go All right, ahead. that's a development. Nowhere. Jesus. came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey y'all. Mark, Oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What man. kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. 
What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, <laughs> that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. <laughs> Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. Hey, this seems a little bit better. I mean, there obviously is things that they aren't telling us. But I'm a little more trusting of these people now. Um, let's see if I can interact with the kid, the kitties, the little kitties. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. <sighs> How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? Got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Yeah. I'm not sure when. One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Mm. Yeah, me too. Uh... Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clint. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. <laughs> hey. Hey, Lee. Found anything interesting? I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure. In case we decide to make this a more long-term solution. Except for those people in the woods. Seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way <laughs> over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch him go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? Well, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. All right. Let's see what I can find. <clears throat> Everything else I've already really looked at. I mean, the generator and... They wouldn't let me go to the barn. So... Let's, uh... I'm assuming they're all inside. Is that one? Electric fence. Yeah, they're up on the porch. Fellas. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. 
No shit. <laughs> you saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head Isn't out there and find their camp? Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. <laughs> uh, I'm only two episodes in and I'm already really attached to her. It's probably a bad thing. I hope it's not a bad thing. Alright, I would not, not be walking yet. in front of him. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Seriously, Lee, just walk behind him, please. I don't, I don't yeah. know why. He just doesn't look oh, shit. like you a friendly it? person. They're gonna come back. If they're not here, they're gonna come back. There's a shitload of food and supplies. From the look of it. Hmm. Sneak up to the camp. How? Oh, just move? Alright. I'm looking for stuff to click. You see anybody? Can't tell. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Come on. Camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Look at the trash. Yuck. I don't need that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Cause I don't want to. I don't know if this game works that way, but in a lot of games. Just that... water do this like with the you know just click on stuff and figure stuff out if you click on the thing you're supposed to click on but it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently that ah, shit yeah like if you click on the thing that you're supposed to click on it automatically progresses Nothing I don't want fuse. that to happen I want to know shit. everything What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Hmm. Hmm. It's like they were moving a lot of stuff. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Empty. 
Oh shit, what's that? A camera? Hmm. <clears throat> what do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. Good? Why is that good? I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Still don't trust them. Something's going on here. It's starting to get on my nerves. Oh man. Jesus. There's a kid mixed up in this. Was more like. Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Going hey, back we where? had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Look. It's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. Jesus. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want, and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Look, there's two of us and one of you. No matter what happens, one of us is gonna kill you. Like you could kill me. They couldn't kill me. They tried. Killing everywhere. Take all the dead folks you want. We'll make more. Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for us. The fuck? God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Uh, I don't think so. Come on. I... Okay, yeah, something, something very sinister is going on with these people. They're feeding people other people. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking that's what it is. At least judging by the way she talked, I mean, granted, she could have been crazy. But everybody's crazy in the Walking Dead universe, so... Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back! 
What happened? Handled it, Mama. <laughs> this isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. There's a storm coming. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Yeah, you could say that. They don't exactly see eye to eye on how we should be doing things. Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Why did she close the door? And how, yeah, how did she get her hat? That's the question I keep asking myself. Toolbox, that's different. It's a small toolbox. Anything in it? Multi-tool. That should be handy. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing that for. I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. I wish there was a way to speed up the walk. No reason to look at the hay. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? We found a tent and some boxes. Nothing really useful. Seriously? No food? Jesus. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Hmm. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. So he's the asshole. Does he treat you like that, too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. I never said I was judging you. I wish I had given me an option. Did you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. 
These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Man. Can't wait for the point where he fucks up somehow and I get to rub it in his face. Alright. This episode's running a little long, but I don't care. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. <laughs> Did you lick it? No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, God, I love it. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Um... When do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Thanks. Yep. How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! <laughs> Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee? Yes? Do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Where's what's his name? Is that what the multi tools for is for this? You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, the guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor, what'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No! Why would you say <laughs> that? Well, you're, you know... Urban? urban? <laughs> oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. God damn it. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. I can attest to that. Hmm. What? 
See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? <sighs> Kenny thought he heard a noise. He's a little jumpy, huh? Well, we're all sure glad his wife is here. She's a lifesaver. You, you got no idea. Hey, uh, do me a favor. D don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Shark Dandy to get him out of the barn. Mm. Alright, we're gonna leave this here. The next episode will be up on Friday, and we will find out what is behind this door. Until then, ta ta. Mm -hmm.